there. I am going to show you how to do the most amazing deep tissue chair massage. I'm gonna show you, this is a 15 minute sequence and you can have a look at it. Now the biggest difference that we're gonna have here is we are not thumb circling. This is the major problem why you can't give your partner a great back massage because you're wearing out your thumbs. So I'm gonna show you how to do it without any thumb circling. We're gonna use forearms, the palms of our heels here, the heels of our palms here, and we're gonna show you exactly how to do this amazing effortless 15 minute deep tissue chair massage. Now, if you like what you see, you can click on the link below in the description box. That'll take you to the full chair massage course. Please subscribe if you like it. Please like it if you like it. All right, let's get into this deep tissue chair massage that feels incredible. Okay, so the first thing we do, we put our hands on the person's body like that. It's all called centering and a little butterfly stroke going down. Now in the massage course, the complete course, I'll show you how to do each stroke, but you'll get a good idea anyway as we go through. And I'll take you through step by step. Now, I'm using the heel of my palm doing circles on the, the back strap muscle, if you don't, the erector spinae muscle, on the camera side of, uh, of the muscle of the, uh, this side of the spine. So you see it just doing circling all the way down. And you can see the way my body weight is always moving. And again, I go through this throughout the course. Now you're just gonna use the, the heel of your palm to press down. You see that? You see how my body weight moves forward each time? So my body is never static. That's why we call using body weight and weight transference rather than muscular effort. Now the other thing you'll notice, you do not need a massage chair. I'm gonna repeat on this side. We'll do the same thing down this side now. So as you watch this, it's just repeating the, the heel circles and then heel presses. So there's the heel circles going down. Um, you see, all I've got is a normal kitchen chair, one without arms, and then you just place a pillow onto the back of the chair. So if you do not have a massage chair, which the majority of people won't, um, that's all you'd need to do. You get the person, now if the person's a little bit short, you can get them, now we're doing the heel presses, you can get them to sit on a pillow. You don't want their neck, again I go through all this in the course, you don't want their neck pressing on the top of the back of the chair. So the person's super comfortable, and then you can relax them and get work the whole back on a simple kitchen chair. Now we're doing alternate squeezes of the trapezius muscle here, that upper back. And we're using, we're pressing through, we're not, don't be too grabby with your fingers. It is really kneading uh, with the heels of your palms again. Now, here we're using circle movements down the back and across those rhomboids between the shoulder blades and up around the shoulder with the side of the hand. So you just work all over here, stay off the bony prominences. You see across the muscles of the shoulder blade there. And then again, you go on the opposite side. Now I say this is the 15 minute version. I've actually gotten the course a 40 minute version, which is slowed down, which will completely tranquilize the person. But this is great if you want to just give someone a great, quick, deep tissue chair massage. And like I said in the introduction, you will see no thumb circling. Now we're doing palm walking down the back. Again, I'm leaning my body weight onto the person. So that's really important if you're new to massage, you want to use your body weight. And then going across the hips, now, I'm using, you'll get a better view of this in a second. This is one thumb on top of the other. Now, again, this is explaining the course. You wanna make sure those thumbs, the small bones of the thumbs are aligned with your forearm bones. You don't have any sharp angles on the thumbs. Otherwise, you're gonna damage your thumbs. You see that? One thumb on top of the other. And each time I am, my arms, my elbows are not bending and straightening. That would be using muscular effort. I am literally leaning on the person on each press. And here we go down the other side now. So if you wanted to do this and you want to do this on someone, you could just write down the, the steps as you go and you know you're going to do them on the opposite side. So you see my body weight, I'm in a lunge position with my feet and I'm coming forward each time I press. And the thumbs on top of the other one to give you better strength. We work our way down there. And then out across the hip. Now we start to bring in forearm elbow work. You're staying off the spine, you're staying off the bones, and you just gently 
dropping your weight onto the top of their shoulders they're just gently sinking into the muscles so this is where we can start to really uh, apply some lovely deep work again without ruining our thumbs which is so many massage therapists whether it's chair massage therapy or whether it's just um, relaxation massage on the table they're using their thumbs they're taught badly and in all of my massage courses we are taught not to be using the thumbs excessively like so many massage therapists their, their careers get cut short because they get injured so you can see here we're just working down there and you just drop your weight and it just is heavenly now as I say I'm doing this at a fairly brisk pace as you start slow it way down you could stop the video and that sort of thing if you wanted to and slow it right down so that you're not rushing the strokes as I said in uh, this is now we're going to work on the shoulder and this is a great one for a work environment because it's not going to have the person completely zonked out they'll be relaxed but stimulated so they can get back to work now you see the two hand squeeze there doing that and then turn around and my fingers are underneath the arm there as we go down with the thumbs the double thumbs this time and then once again you're just gently squeezing don't be too grabby you're squeezing but you're using the pressure through the heel of your palm and the fingers are really just there as a backstop as you squeeze through the muscle work down the tricep and now you work through the bicep so we're just doing really nice thumb uh, hand circling there and then just squeezes this feels absolutely fantastic once again I'm using the heel of the palm to do circles there and now we work down the forearm so again squeezing now here's one thing I teach in the course that the forearms and the hands can take an enormous amount of pressure it feels amazing to have your forearms really sort of squeezed and put so in other words you can put a lot more pressure than you think when you do the forearms and the hands for that matter but especially the forearms they have a lot of lot of muscle tissue there they do a lot of work so you see here again I'm just doing it here. so there's very there's not a lot of different steps we're repeating the same techniques as we go through your heel circles heel presses and now we start to use our thumb we're going to go down and you see how my thumb is aligned with my forearm bones it's not at a sharp angle so you really need to be careful of that with your thumbs and then we just swap over hands. You can see a better look there. You see that? And again, all the time I am leaning. I am well, going backwards and forwards with my body weight. All the time. And now we work our way down to the hands. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Again, this feels amazing. Now, if you wanted to, now you can see how I'm just circling along there. Now, when you get to the fingernails, Give them a good little sharp squeeze. It feels really great to have the so this little sort of millisecond of kind of that little pain, like a good pain. So give the fingernail a good squeeze when you get down. It feels great and it really, um, it's really, really lovely to, to experience. You see that? And then turn the hand over and once again. So you're changing your body weight even when you're doing the hands. You're leaning forward. You're rocking forwards and backwards at each time. So if you want to do this at a market or somewhere, you could use this exact same sequence. This is the exact same sequence I used to do corporate massage all over Melbourne, Australia. And this is exactly the same sequence that I used on people in the workplace. And of course at fairs and so on and so forth. That I've done literally thousands of these massages. All right, so you've done one side, and then you do the other arm. Give a little shake, a little butter, what I call a butterfly stroke, a little uh, very soft stroke down the arm, sort of introduce your hands to the arm, and then a good heel squeeze. So you can see that my elbows are up high to get a good squeeze through there as we work there. And this one, make sure your fingers are not digging in underneath that arm there. They're, they're going to be flat. There's a big nerve underneath there if you twang on that it'll send the person through the roof now once again hands uh, uh, sort of palm circles as I call them and they're just straight squeezes and all that pressure is going with flat fingers but it's going through the 
the heel of the palm. That's where we're getting our pressure from. And then you go down the bicep. So you do the tricep, then you do the bicep. It doesn't matter if you do the bicep and then you do the tricep. It will not matter. So we're just repeating the same sequence on the other arm. And remember, when you come to the forearms, really work. Now, see, once again, I am my pressure's down through the heels of my palms. It's always, always, always through the heels. That's where you get this wonderful pressure from. Turn the forearm over, and away you go again. So we're always doing broader um, techniques, like the heels of the palms, that sort of thing, before we do the thumbs. We do that in any massage, you do lighter strokes before you start to do any more to deep, deeper tissue strokes. So we're softening up the muscles there, and then we work deeper levels like that. So I do three different lines going down there. So one on one lateral side, the outside, then down the center there, and then on the inside of the forearm. So I'm doing three different lines, which are down the meridians in Chinese medicine. And then we finish off by squeeze, 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 a little butterfly stroke there, and then we go back to, to the wrist and hand. So these are good, good strong squeezes as you work through here. And then, just working down here. And what I'm doing, I'm working between the tendons there as we go down on the top of the hand there. And down along the fingers, squeeze. Make sure you do a good little squeeze of the fingernail. Don't send them through the roof, but a good little squeeze just for a second. Or less, half a second. Right, so now we're going to work down through the hands here. These poor little hands do so much work. And it feels amazing to get this done. So just work there, nice pressure point work. See that just all over. So you're just covering the whole hand. I'm doing sort of going from the outsides and working my way more centrally. You can, I mean, quite literally do whatever you want when it comes to thumb pressing the palms. A little shake and a little light stroke down coming off the hand. Now we bring the person up gently. If you had a massage chair, you wouldn't need to. And you just drop the head down. You see, I do a little tilt, bring the sort of chin to chest a little bit, and then we start working. Now you see my even my chest, you just see my body's rocking. It's never ever static. Even in this, I'm still just rocking each time. It's small, but it's still using weight transference. The reason we do that, if you use muscular effort, this is going to be uh, hard work on your in, in any form of massage I always teach using body weight weight transference always 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 you start using muscular effort one you'll get exhausted quickly and two you'll get injured three it doesn't feel anywhere near as good to the person getting the massage so if that's not enough to convince you so and now I'm working up the base of the skull there <coughs> and then it's right into the scalp. Now, another thing I do when I work this, the scalp, see my hands, and here's one of my pet hates. I hate that scrubbing one, like the, like you'd be at a, uh, say, putting shampoo and you're going across and messing up the person's hair. The, my fingers are moving with the skin, so we're moving the muscles. And this is a little typewriter one here. So I really don't like that one where they just, their hands are going all over your hair. Keep the contact on the skin when you do that with her head. Now, just working here again, the tra trapezius muscles, the upper back, the upper shoulders, and then just forearms. See, my palms are down. That will give you the fleshy part of your forearms to work down so there's no bones. And then I put them to the side, and then you see that, because as you get to the pony part of the shoulder on the out right here, you don't want to be bone on bone. That'll just be uncomfortable. All right, and then you move to the other side, and you do exactly the same on the other side, just using your other hand. So make sure you have that person's head tilted ever so slightly downwards. That'll give you better access to the back of the neck there, especially around the base of the, the skull there. So just working through there, 
Really feels fantastic. And then come up right up under those, what they call suboccipital muscles. The little muscles right at the base of the skull there. And just work into those. You can just gen gently press upwards. And so you're just working there with the fingers. And again, you've seen throughout the whole entire thing, we're not burning out our thumbs. Even this, my hands, are my fingers are pretty static, but my my body and my arms are doing the work. You see that? It's not like my wrist is moving. You always want to have the big muscles and the big joints doing the work for the little ones. So you see that even there, it's not like my fingers are all moving and my wrists are all moving. And then just do a little typewriter, a little tapping, it stimulates, it feels really great. And then a little butterfly stroke. And then squeeze, 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 these alternate squeezes feel great. Don't be too pinchy at the neck, just gotta be careful with that. And here we go again, we're gonna do forearm presses. Remember, keep your, especially when you're starting, you can do them all with your palms down, which will keep that underside of your forearm so you won't go bone on bone. And then butterfly stroke right the way. And then, again, as I talk in the course, when you do this one, we are not trying to chop wood. Your wrists must be really loose when you do this, this movement. And you just go all over the back to stimulate them, to wake them up. And it feels fantastic, it's all very stimulating. So just remember, wrists must be loose. And then final butterfly stroke. And there you have it, 16 minutes of deep tissue bliss.